Okay, we've got a really big spring floor going in today. So uh, what we're doing is we just took a two by four. We nailed a piece of uh, foam. You can use like a, like a weather seal strip, or um, in this case, we have uh, underlayment from Fuji. So what we're gonna do is I just shim this up. I got it at the appropriate height that I want my floor to sit. And what I'm gonna do is nail this to the wall, and then I can screw my spring floor system to this board. And what that does is it prevents the spring floor from moving out and away. So when you do warm-ups in the morning, you run in a circle, you're gonna get a little bit of twist in your floor. We wanna keep that floor as tight as possible. This is gonna help secure the whole system and keep it against this back wall because we have a long open edge here, uh, like over 60 feet, so. You can glue this, screw this, hammer drill it. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use a ram set. Okay, so I'm securing my, my nailer board into the wall here. I'm gonna use a ram set. It's a little faster and a little easier than using a hammer drill and screwing into the wall. This takes a 22 shell and a nail. Throw on your protection and just give it a whack. So we're installing the Fuji Mat spring floor system today. Um, this is a really big floor. It's, uh, it's like 65 feet and we have an open end. So when you warm up and run in a circle, the floor can bounce just a little bit and eventually that can twist. Um, so what I'm gonna do is install this ledger board preventing uh, the floor from shifting and that way it keeps your mats nice and tight. So what I have here is a two by four with uh, a foam nailer on top just to prevent any squeaking and give it a little bit of movement. I'm gonna install the spring floor and screw it to this ledger board. And that way it keeps that whole floor right where I want it. Um, this is gonna attach to block or concrete in this case. So I'm gonna use a hammer drill to pilot a hole, an impact to sink a Tapcon screw, which is like the blue screw. So I usually go three and a half inches or something like that. It works pretty good. take out my shim. This was just to hold it at the right height. I'm gonna repeat, repeat this process along my back wall here and then in a few spots along each of the short walls. Mm -hmm. 